Here on the Central Coast tonight and only on KION, card room controversy. On Tuesday, the Marina City Council will be voting on approving a second card room to open up in their town. The proposed site would be next to the off ramp on Highway 1 onto Del Monte Boulevard. Tonight, Marina's mayor is welcoming the new card room, while others, they're not so sure. Scott Rates reports. I'm very, very concerned. Frank Calamia is the owner of the Marina Club. It's the solo card room in the city, but it wasn't always this way. When we used to have Mortimer's across the street. They went out of business more than five years ago. Now the city of Marina is looking to bring back a second card room. Frank has concerns. I'm fearful I will lose half of my employees and I'm not gonna be able to support the foundations and the kids of this town like we've been doing over the past years. We asked Marina Mayor Bruce Delgado about this. He tells KION that adding a second card room could bring in $100,000 to $300,000 in tax revenue for city services. And if a second card room comes in and is different than the first card room, I could see how that might have a positive impact overall on city revenues. But does a second card room have the potential to contribute more money to local nonprofits? And that's a question I can't answer. It depends on how generous the second card room would be and what effect the second card room would have on the first card room's ability to donate to nonprofits. In 2019, Marina Police Chief Tina Nieto sent this letter to the Bureau of Gambling Control. In the letter, she says in part, quote, in communities such as ours, card room table tax revenue provides for a substantial portion of the local budget, end of quote. If a second card room is very successful, what does that mean for the city's ability to provide services? Does it give us one more policeman per year? Does it give us one more firefighter per year? Does it give us some money to, it probably would cost about $150,000 a year to do a much better job maintaining our sports fields. When you build a big old place like that, it's not just the card room here at Marina Club that's gonna hurt. It's all the other restaurateurs in town because he'll suck away all the tourists. They won't even come into town. The city feels that this second card room's impact will be the opposite. The changes are part of Marina's downtown vibrancy project. Let's say you went to a gambling establishment 10 or 15 times. You might start looking for some other food you might start looking for other things to do when you leave the gambling establishment. And that's what we want. We want to draw people that are downtown so they start to explore. We want our downtown to do better than it's doing today. I want to keep marinas. I don't want it to get big. I don't want to be like Morgan Hill, okay, or down, you know, I want to, I just love our little community here. That's the kind of town that we are, you know, and we want to remain that way. We don't want big city developers coming in here and changing the culture of our community. We're not trying to create a Taj Mahal that's so expensive that the Vietnamese fisher people and the, the mom with two jobs and kids, you know, increasingly get pushed out and we end up looking like cities that are very different than Marina. I mean, Marina is a very precious, special place. Reporting in Marina, Scott Rates, KION News Channel 46. Scott says he also reached out to Park West Casinos for comment, but they have not responded.